Okay, so now I'm going to show you uh, how to set up a PCR reaction in our lab. Um, so this area here is um, a station both for doing mini preps um, and also for doing setting up your PCR reactions. So we have three different thermocyclers. Um, these two are identical, uh, and that's the the instrument that's going to control the temperature um, to make sure your PCR reaction works. Um, we have our supplies um, for the PCR in these drawers here. So on the top drawer we have different PCR tubes that you can use to set up your reaction. These are small tubes that will fit inside our thermocycler. You can see some in here right now. Um, so there's, there's tube strips if you want to do a bunch of reactions at the same time, or individual tubes. So depending on what you want to do, you want to grab your PCR tubes. Also in this freezer, um, we have supplies for, for both doing uh, restriction enzyme digests or um, for ligations, for cloning, but also we have our polymerases, which are the enzymes that we need uh, to use to run our reaction. So there's actually a couple of different boxes labeled polymerase, and you might use different polymerases depending on what type of PCR you're running. Um, in this case, I've already gotten my polymerase out, and it's over on the bench. So there are, there are other um, reagents that you'll need that are in the polymerase boxes, and some of those need to be thawed, so you want to think ahead when you're going to do your PCR and take those out so they're thawed. So now we're going to walk over to my bench, um, and I've done that. So I have all of the main components that you need um, to run a PCR reaction. So those um, will be some sort of template. So that's the DNA that you're going to use that you want to amplify the sequence of. So a lot of times if you're cloning or doing something like that, um, you use genomic DNA as your template, and that's usually purified. Um, in this case, I'm actually doing a colony PCR, um, which uses a, basically a, whole small, a small sample of whole cells that we dilute in some water, and I have them in these tubes here. I've, so I've, basically used a pipette tip and touched a little bit of a colony off of a plate, dipped it into the water, pipetted a little bit to get the cells into the water, um, and then I heated these tubes up to 95 degrees Celsius um, to burst the cells open and release their DNA. Um, there's other debris in here too, but as long as you don't have too many cells, that won't mess up your PCR reaction. Um, so I'm using both genomic uh, DNA from uh, directly from a colony and as a control to make sure my PCR is working um, as it should I have some genomic DNA that was purified using a kit um, so you need a template you also need um, a buffer for your whatever polymerase you're using so there's different buffers for different polymerases you want to make sure you have the right one um, you need uh, DNTPs, which are the building blocks of your DNA, um, and we have different tubes of those, stocks of those. Um, some of them are at different concentrations, uh, and particular polymerases will, will need um, different amounts of DNTPs in their reaction. So most polymerases will come with uh, some sort of documentation sheet which explains how much of the different reagents you want to add um, and the concentrations of those reagents. So you just want to you know, find that documentation either online or in a booklet in the lab and make sure you have the right concentrations of everything. So 